Okay, so today I had the request to work on quads and knee pain. So I'm going to work on that a little bit today, how to stretch your legs, because I'm sure many of us have been um, hiking and walking and traveling around that way, you know, getting our daily exercise with walking, trying to get into the air and space. So um, you can have this. We'll come back to it again. I just always like it prepared and ready. But we're going to sit uh, nice and upright. You're going to cross your legs. And if this does not feel comfortable for you, this is where your towel comes in. Roll it up. Or if you have a pillow, a bolster pillow, something, a yoga block or a foam roller, um, sit on that to prop you up a little bit. Now, if your hip flexors are really tight. You're really going to want a thick, a really thick towel, probably something much more thicker than this. Go for a pillow, that would be much better. And you can sit on that. So lift your sits bones up, but hopefully you feel your sits bones nice and grounded. So you're gonna start your breathing here as we do every class. Deep breath in through the nose. And exhale out from the mouth. Drawing your navel all the way towards your back wall, finding that pelvic floor. Two more breaths. And breathing out. Again. Breathing in the deep side body. And breathing out. Five, four, three, two, one. One more breath. Exhale. Drawing your sits bones together so you get that deep pelvic floor, low transverse abdominals, wrapping around the center of your spine, softening the rib cage, and lengthening up through the crown of your head. And then we do a cat cow like normal. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, tuck your tail, going in and round. Always getting the spine to move is super important. Inhale, exhale, round. One more. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, round. Okay, so we're going to hold on. I'm going to check this comment here really quick. Oh, okay. And then we're going to bring our legs right out in front of you. We're gonna roll down, use this for your head. And again, we're focusing today on quad and knee pain, especially if you've been biking or riding, something like that. Go ahead, rock your knees side to side. Just wake up the low back, gentle. Hands on your kneecaps, you're gonna inhale, extend the knees away from you. Exhale, zip up your pubic bone to navel. Really find your low pelvic floor. Strong, um, transverse abdominal muscles really pulling down and in to pull those knees in your chest. Inhale away. And it's coming from the abdomen, not because the knees can fold in, but because you're resisting the knees in towards your chest by drawing and lengthening your low back down towards the mat. Again, inhale. And exhale in. Good. Now from here, you're going to press your knees in as far as they can go without hurting the hip flexor. So try bringing your knees wider or more narrow. Play somewhere that's comfortable for your own hip flexors. It's different on everybody. So you got to see if either close or wide feels better on you. Normally wide is better. So go wide. You're going to reach your sits bones and your tailbone, the very end of your bum, down towards the mat, but I'm not arching my spine, I'm pulling my navel down, and then extending my tailbone nice and long. So I'm gonna inhale here, hopefully you feel a little space in the front of your hip flexors. Exhale, scoop that pubic bone up towards your navel, so you curl your tailbone towards your nose, and I'm imprinting my lower back down to the mat for a coccyx curl. Inhale, arch, and exhale, scoop. scoop. Again, finding my torso doing all that work. Exhale. Connect to those deep, transverse, deep abdominal work to tuck your tailbone and curl towards your nose and inhale. And exhale. And relax. You're going to stretch your legs up toward the sky. Inhale. Point flex. Point flex. Exhale, bend your knees. Inhale, lengthen. Point flex. Point, flex, exhale, bend, 
Last time, inhale, lengthen, point, flex, point, flex, and bend in. Okay, so you're gonna rock yourself up to sitting again here. You're going to bring, well, let's go here first. You're gonna sit up nice and tall, tucked up like a big ball. And again, I know this is not always comfortable for the hip flexors, but to get that low back stretching so you can get in the hip flexors here in a bit. So you're gonna inhale, lengthen up, reach your tailbone down, really extend your upper back here. And as you're here, your knees are still wide towards your armpits, you're drawing your belly away from your thighs. And exhale, relax, tucking your tailbone underneath you. Inhale, tilt the pelvis forward. Inhale, lift up all the way through the chest, and exhale, round. One more time, inhale, lengthen up. Really draw up as far as you can, pulling your belly away from your thighs. Exhale, round, extend one leg out. You're gonna be here with your right leg extended out. Tuck this left knee in as far as you possibly can, and lengthen up nice and tall. From here, you're gonna inhale, point your toes, exhale, flex. Really lifting out of your hips, out of your waist, reaching and extending this leg out. Inhale, point, and exhale, flex. Pull this right side of your abdomen back. One more, inhale, point, and exhale, flex. From here, you're gonna start tugging your pelvis underneath you from the engagement of this pelvic floor here. From the pubic bone to navel, rocking this pelvis underneath you so you bypass this upper glute. And then you're rolling down one, Vertebrae at a time. Really try to press the back of your leg down into the mat and go all the way down. Find your head on your toe. Try to not. There you go. There. So you're here. You're going to pull this right knee, this left knee, excuse me, towards your chest and really draw it in as far as you can with, again, without lifting your low back up. So if it's here, it's there. Just kind of find what works for your body. And you're going to reach through your right heel and you're gonna find that inner thigh engagement to extend the leg away from you as you pull that right knee all the way in towards your chest so it feels like you're going into a split. There you go, so you're here. Now you're pointing this foot again. Inhale, point, exhale, flex. Reach your heel nice and long, feel your inner foot, inner leg extend and lengthen and the inner thigh be really nicely charged. Inhale, point, and exhale, flex. Drawing your belly down away from your thigh. Last time, inhale, point, and exhale, flex. And I'm still pressing the back of my leg into the bed so I get a little more posterior side of my leg than just the quad cramping here. From here, I'm gonna exhale, curl up my head, neck, and shoulders. So I'm hovering off my shoulders here. I keep extending through that inner foot, bringing my outer foot closer to my face, so I'm extending and I go back down. Do that one more time. Deep breath in. Exhale, curl up. And back down. And exhale, curl up. And exhale, bend this knee in. Both knees in the chest. And round right back up. And go for the other side. Sitting up nice and tall, you would extend this knee in. And I'm looking for this really upright spine. It's really easy to rock underneath your pelvis or too far forward or underneath you. Actually, you can't really go too far forward on this one, but really just make sure that you're not pointing and flexing like this, right? So you're really nice and tall, maintaining this flat low back and extending through the inner foot and getting that inner thigh working. So inhale, point, exhale, flex. Inhale, point. Exhale, flex, lifting out of your own hips. So I'm actively lifting out of my waist, out of my hips as I'm doing this. Inhale, point. Exhale, flex, growing taller every time I flex and exhale and inhale. There. Now I tuck my tail when I roll down again and I'm trying to extend, reach your foot out. So you're rocking underneath your pelvis, getting that low belly working. Reaching, 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 so you get more inner thigh and a length of knee through the front of the hip as you lower down and bring this knee all the way towards your chest. Now this foot should feel like it's planted inside a wall or into a wall. You're pushing against something with this bottom leg and I'm pulling this light, 
knee all the way towards my chest here. Okay, so I'm here and I'm making sure this hip is not hiking up with me. I'm drawing that hip down so I get length in that side body and I point and flex again. Inhale, point and exhale, flex, pulling my navel down, elongating my low back and pulling my navel towards my spine as I reach my leg out away from me. Inhale, point and exhale, and one more. Exhale. Every exhale, I'm drawing my deep transverse abdominals down so I elongate my low back. One more. Inhale, point. And exhale, I pull my belly down away from my heel. Now I curl up my head, neck, and shoulders. Inhale. Exhale, curl up a little higher. Curl up and reach the heel away and lower down. One more time. Deep breath in. Exhale, come up. Take a deep breath in, hug this knee in your chest, and rock back up to sitting. Now, a lot of times with our running and everything, we get those quads and IT bands really hurting, and I want to address this area of our legs differently than we have in the past by laying back down. So you're going to sit up nice and tall. I'm going to face you now. You're going to cross one knee over the other as much as you possibly can. Again, if this really hurts the front of your hip flexor, sorry, Instagram, one second, one moment, Facebook. Sorry. Hey, hello. All right, Instagram and Facebook, here we go back. If you're really tight in your IT band area, um, go ahead, sit on your towel. Again, find those sit bones grounded so that will help you relieve some of that. Ideally, you want a bigger prop up, like a yoga block or something like that, foam roller, or just a pillow, a bolster pillow, just to prop underneath you that will help you sit up nice and tall and find those sit bones. So you're gonna bring your knee over your knee as much as possible, and in this very flat spine, you hinge forward from your hips. Inhale, forward, and I'm thinking of my tailbone going down. So all of this to help prep the quads, okay? Open up our low back, open up our hips, so we can allow that IT band to then get nice and long and I'll get that quad. But we want those hips to be open to continue finding all that in our side body. So inhale and exhale, come up. One more, inhale. Especially the tightness of the low back. Our low back is major in all this. Last time, inhale, exhale up. Good, now you're gonna hug this knee as far in towards your chest as you possibly can go, still in this very upright spine position. This hip stays down and grounded into the floor, and then you can rotate towards your leg here. Inhale, and exhale, unwind. Inhale, lengthen out of your ribs, rotate towards your knee, and exhale, center. And inhale, lengthen up and around. And it's yard work season, so all of this is very important. Good, now you're gonna bring this leg behind you. You're gonna go into, um, well, you know, what do they call this in a, Pigeon, pigeon, this is the color, right? In yoga. So you're basically to that position. Now this is not easy for everybody. So ideas, you're gonna come up, come up actually, if you can, like this. I know it's not very, very normal, but there you go. Come up where you can, and then try to start slowly lowering yourself down as far as you can, keeping these hips wrapped towards the ground, and either weight supported by your wrist or here. If that is really crazy hard, go grab a pillow or another um, yoga block or something and sit on your left cheek there so you can go as far down as you possibly can. Now it's to help relax the front of your quad here and open up that hip and come up as high as you possibly can here by sitting on something but it's really about wrapping this right hip forward so you get the lengthening through the front of the hip. There, uh-huh. All right, so inhale, and then drop yourself down. And kind of just walk yourself through that, walk yourself up, and you look up, and then walk yourself back down. 
Again, getting that spine to move. One more. Walk yourself up. And walk yourself down. And then come up out of that as gracefully as you possibly can. Knee to knee. Tuck your toes and sit back. Again, if this is really hard for you to do, you can grab that towel. Ideally, we want those toes to be tucked. If that really hurts your feet, well, this is something to be really good to play with because it's going to start opening up the fascia line from the bottom of your feet. And you can always put a towel there and that will help you sit up nice and upright or put your mat there between your legs and that will also help start opening up your feet and the whole posterior chain of your body, breaking up the fascia. So there, be there, be here. And that will also help stretch your quads a bit here. So you're going to be here and you're going to start hinging back with awareness of your center. Squeeze your inner thighs, lift up your pelvic floor, and you're going to start hinging away one straight line from your head to your tailbone. Go back, inhale, and exhale up. Now nothing should be in the low back, so this is where you really got to work the core so you're moving in one piece. Inhale, and exhale up. Well, that really starts killing your toes. You can always just come here and start hinging back. Inhale, exhale up. Inhale, exhale up. I'm going to go back to my toes. Inhale, and exhale up. Okay. From here, you're going to come to your knees. When that bothers your knees, you can always grab a padding or towel to kneel on. That might help. That really is out of the question for you. Just go to standing. And then find your knee on a couch or a chair, and you're going to push your knee down. I'm going to face you so you can see. You're going to push your knee down into your couch so you can lift up out of your hips. Keep the standing knee soft. And lift out of your hips, pressing your shin down on the mat or your um, chair or couch or bed, whatever you can find. Push down your shin and feel the hip push forward and lift up. Inhale and relax. Do that two more times. Press down on the shin. Inhale, press up. You might feel a pull in the inner knee. Just really squeeze your inner thighs together. It's more about getting that inner leg line stretching and long and relax. And again, inhale, elongate and relax. Try the other side. So you're going to switch the legs. And do that. And then again, this is a variation if you cannot be on your knees. You can always just put your shin down and press down your shin into the bed, the chair, the be um, couch, whatever you can find to resist. And I'm holding and pressing and holding. One, two, three, relax. I press and hold. One, two, three, relax. And at the same time as I'm pushing, I'm lifting out of this hip. So it's energy going in two directions. In, two, three, relax. One last time. Push down on your shin, lift up out of the front of the hip, and relax. Now, if you can be on your knees, I'm going to give you this quick variation too. You're going to be here, and you're going to have your hands on your lower back, and you're going to start hinging back. Inhale, and you're going to lift your chest up, breathing out Squeezing your inner thighs. Do not go too far back. Inhale. And exhale. And again. Inhale. Squeeze your inner thighs together. And up. Now, depending on how far you back you go, it can put stress in your knees. So really make sure you're squeezing those inner thighs. Inhale. And up. But just a quick, easy way to really stretch those quads there. Now, if you're going to go back to standing... And if you have the balance to do this, otherwise grab the chair. And if you have the flexibility to do this, grab with the same hand, otherwise go with the opposite hand. Now you are with the opposite hand, you're gonna squeeze those inner thighs together and lift up. Inhale and return. Now sometimes we're often told to just pull, but actually you want it to be an active stretch by pressing your foot into your hand so you can lift it tall. In, two, three, relax. In, two, three, relax. Press and hold to relax and switch sides. So always just being aware of what your body can handle. Again, if you're extra flexible, go with same hand and arm leg. 
If not, do opposite and then do the same thing. Press, two, three, return. Press, two, three, return. And press, two, three, return. And that will help release quads Hopefully IT, front of hip flexor, kind of stuff like that. And that's what today is all about because I was recently asked about that. Now you're going to want to get the front of your hip and stuff too. So you're going to get a chair or you can be on your mat. You're on your mat. You're going to go for a lunge like so. I've done this before. You're going to start in this 90 degree with the hip over the knee. A 90 degree here. So that's your starting position. Squeeze your inner thighs. You're going to push forward. Inhale, zipping up, lengthening up, exhale, return. And again, all these are really good for after any hikes you do, any running, walking you might be doing, and your legs are tight. Go straight for these. Inhale, exhale up. One more. Inhale. Exhale up and return. We switch. Inhale and up. Finding your inner foot, finding your inner thighs, lifting out of your hips, lengthening through the crown of the head, pushing down in your foot to come up. That's always important so you're not doing anything strange as you come up. When you really feel your center of gravity moving with you. Inhale and up. Good. Go back to the first side again. And that's too hard for you or you can't be on your knees. Just bring a foot on a chair and then do the same thing standing. Inhale and up. Finding your standing leg when you come up. Still lifting out of those hips. That's very important. Otherwise you'll get like a good calf stretch, which is not bad. That's good. But if you want it deeper in here, really lift out of your hip to do that. So we're going to go back to the first side, just on the knees. If you can't do that, go back with the standing variation. All you're going to do now is add the arm up, inhale, and then you're going to lift your rib cage and waist out of your hip and spin towards your bent knee here, inhale, and come up nice and tall. Do that again, inhale, side bend, and lift. And center one more time. Inhale, lift the rib cage up and away, and center and down, and do the other side. Here, find your stability. Lift out of your waistline. Side bend towards your bent knee. Inhale, up and down. And again, inhale. This is just choreography here, moving that arm. But otherwise, you can just keep it straight up. Up to you. Inhale. And up. Last time. Inhale. And open. But if you want an extra challenge, try to open the hands all the way down. Go all the way down towards the child's pose. Here. Let your bum... Be really heavy towards your heels. And take a couple breaths. Let your tailbone drop down towards your heels. One more. And roll up one vertebrae at a time. Uh, last thing I want to address in all this, sorry, today's a short class. Um, but I'll be back again tomorrow when we really get moving. But I want to address the IT band, a way to get it while you're standing. And that will just be to, so again, either be standing or, or on your, I'll show you sitting down. But you're going to stand, you're going to bring your foot on the chair, crossing. And you're going to lift out of your hips, rotate towards your bent knee here. And as you do that, you're going to feel this hip slide back into your hand as you extend. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me see if I'm saying this correctly. Uh-oh. So you're here. You're rotating around this. Now, this doesn't always give a stretch for everybody, but for some who are really tight, drop this hip down. You will already get that IT band stretching. If you need it more intensely 
Extend this leg and go down as far as you possibly can go. And you'll really get a stretch all the way up in here and then roll up yourself to come up nice and tall. And again, keeping that rotation as you stretch. So you're kind of going into a nice forward band and you're gonna to try to keep the weight towards your standing toes. Technically, I need to be out a little bit more. So go ahead, try that. Ah, here we go. There, but there you go. So you can always stand back, flex, keep that rotation in your upper body. Nice straight spine and come up. That's it. And stretching. And come up one more time. And reach here. You got a standing triangle. Inhale, rotate down, and roll up. And let me do the other side. Here. So again, dropping the hip down. Have your foot a little further away so you should already be in a slight lunge. That's what I messed up on. You're dropping this hip down. Lift up through the side body. Lift out of your waist and rotate towards your knee. All right, so this is really for anybody here. And then extend that leg out. Hinge forward from the hip. Keeping this nice straight back from your head to your tailbone. And exhale, come up. Inhale out. And I'm keeping the heel exactly where it is. It's not sliding anywhere. It stays there. And I let my leg extend all fully. And up. And one more. There. I'm still in my rotation. I can flex my foot if I want to. And then you can go into that triangle pose. Pressing my back of my palm there. Reaching up. Good, come back down, face your leg, and roll up. So I hope those are all really great ways for you to open up your quads and your hip flexors and loosen up your legs from all your walking and running. If you have any questions or comments, please always write me. And thanks for joining me today. See you guys all later. Bye-bye.